all right so what you're looking at is the radio and um, I finally got a an Android head unit for this car I've been waiting so, so long to get one um, I hate it trying to connect my phone to this little thing every time I get inside the car I struggle doesn't want to connect so finally it's gonna throw it away maybe um, but yeah um, didn't like it and honestly that that looks outdated um, which back in 2010 I mean 11 wasn't bad but in today's time with the newer technology Bluetooth and everything it needs to be upgraded and um, that way I can maybe do something about this my leather starting to peel off the dash and um, this is a common issue with these cars and there's no way to prevent this um, so I'm gonna get this fixed um, I don't know if I'm gonna be using the same leather or different leather um, I'll see what I'm gonna do but for now that's not my focus so let me show you guys what I got and I know there's actually like four different Android units for this car there's one that goes on all the way over here I think that one's called a Tesla I don't know um, but the other one it's um, I think you use the same screen but you just get the little um, system I think it's called the um, iPhone or Apple Connect some something like that I don't I don't really mess with that um, I was about to get the one that goes all the way down down here uh, but I don't know after after watching some videos it doesn't look factory it doesn't look like um, it doesn't look like it belongs to the car it looks aftermarket the one I got it, it's smaller screen it goes to like right here but that one it looks OEM all right so here it is I got it out of the box um, I haven't looked at it yet, but I kind of know how it looks like from watching all these videos. So this is the, the touch screen for the head unit. And then right here you got all the cables. Uh, a lot of cables. Probably not going to use some of them. I know there's backup camera and then speaker so I'm probably not going to use all that I'm only going to use whatever I need to get this thing going so let me get this other bag and then show you guys here it is like I said, I was about to buy the other one, the, the one that goes all the way down. Um, but I found this one, and I actually like this one better. As you can see, the edges, they look OEM. Pretty nice head unit. This one's gonna go right in here like this. Oh man, it's nice. So this is the model I got. This one's four gigabytes of RAM and sixty-four gigabytes of memory. So if you guys want to know where I got this from, this is the website that I got it from. It's called. Aliexpress is that my first time using it um, I downloaded it because one of my friends he got some LEDs from there and um, he said there was a bunch of things that you couldn't find on eBay and um, I went in and then downloaded it and then and you actually can't find um, none of this on eBay not even the big Tesla screen one more thing guys this head unit comes already plug-and-play um, it's already painted actually too so 
I think I'm gonna keep that color so it's gonna match these plastics all right so first step is to remove this plastic here I'm gonna need a pry tool it's really easy comes right off set it somewhere uh, I think this one's got to come out too hopefully it comes out easy gonna do There it is. Came out fairly quick. Just gotta pull on this corner right here. I think what you're gonna do is unplug this little plug here and it should come out. All right, so now that you got that out of the way, um, there's four screws that you gotta remove and they are T20. There's one right here, another one here, another one here, and another one here. And then you're going to be able to pull this plastic trim out. Let me go ahead and remove these. Actually so gotta pull outwards. Okay, so I forgot to remove my screw all the way out. Okay, here we have it. I'm gonna remove this plug. Man, this thing is heavy. No wonder why these cars weigh so much. It's heavy. All right, so now that we got the uh, piece off, now we're gonna get this one off. And for this one, I think we're gonna need a bigger screwdriver. But there's another screw right here that you gotta remove. For these, you're gonna need a different screwdriver. For now, we're just gonna remove these right here. And I'm gonna see if I can do something about that dash. Maybe I'll go to the store right now and get some glue. All right, guys. So now we gotta do these two right here. I'm gonna be using a T27. Much larger bolts. Okay, so it looks like we have another bolt right there. I'm probably gonna have to remove this one. Okay. So you're gonna have to remove this one. It looks like mine was previously removed. As you can see it was broken right there and right here so all that was holding it was this tab right here. Maybe you have to get a new one. Alright, so hopefully this is the last 
bolt. Looks like it's the last one. I'm sorry guys, there's another one over here. It's hard to see from my angle, from where I'm at. Let's fill it down right there. All right, so looks like it's the last one. Gotta unplug these plugs. These are for the, for the fans. There's one on each fan. Man, this thing is heavy. Why is it so heavy? Okay, so this is what we're swapping out. And um, we already removed those two bolts underneath so now i got to remove these other two there's only a couple wires i thought there was going to be a whole bunch of wires this thing is heavy some weight reduction. Check it out. Man, this is probably like six pounds. All right guys, so here we got both side by side. And as you can see, the size is not really a big difference. This is maybe half an inch larger. not even half an inch um but what matters is on this one you it's an android pretty much can do anything you want with an android um yeah it's about half an inch bigger so let's see how how it's gonna look like installed i already got all the wires as you can see there's only five connectors no four connectors so it's not that bad actually, I thought it was going to be a whole bunch of wires, you know. Alright guys, so it looks like I have to remove the CD player. Um, the big plug that I showed you guys earlier. Where's it at? So, I thought the, the OEM screen was the main radio, but it actually wasn't. Um, it's actually this right here what controls the touch screen the screen is just the touch screen so it's, it's nothing so this is going to plug into the plugs behind the the cd player so i'm going to do what i'm going to do is remove the cd player hopefully i don't have to remove none of this um i went ahead and got this off which is really easy you just stick your pry tool in there and pull out and then let it sit all right guys, so I decided to stop recording while I figure out this mess here. Um, so it turns out you gotta remove the, um, there's four little screws, torque screws right here that hold this little guy. So you take those off and then you're gonna see um, a torque screw, I think it's a 20. This one right here, another one right here. You screw that one out and then you're gonna take this uh, what is that? This one here. It goes here. You just pop this out, and then there's another two screws, 20 Torx 20, right here, and then right here, and then you'll be able to pull these out. So once you have these pulled out, um, you can be able to remove this one. 
and it's actually gonna make it a lot easier for me to run my my cables to my to my um uh, glow box or whatever it's called i got my boost controller right here all right guys so here we got the screen mounted up i'm just gonna do some testing make sure everything works before i put on the vents and put everything back together i um, also want to hit and router my little cable for the sim card or the um, yeah the sim card right here so, um, so yeah i'm gonna turn on the ignition make sure everything works good there it is got YouTube and everything Google uh, navigation and um, then right here you tap right here is the uh, climate control shows the ambient temperature and everything turn on the AC I mean the fan and turn on the fan See auto turn it low everything works turn it off all right guys so just finished the install and I gotta say it looks really nice let me show you guys oh it looks like uh, I went ahead and cleaned cleaned out the car a little bit I just gotta put the passenger seat back in um, but everything everything else is in and check it out tell me that doesn't look good it looks really nice um, and this is only a 7.2 inch um, screen um, I thought it was going to be larger because on the package it said, um, or on the website, it said that it was an 8.8 .8 screen. Um, but it's actually like a 7.2. I already want to measure it. But it's fine. It still looks, it looks really nice. Yeah, let me turn it on for you guys so you guys can see. open the door and it shows a little car right there with the door open and you close it and it goes away so one of the reasons why I got this one instead of the other one that goes all the way down um, is because I, I, I'm gonna connect my OBD2 with the with the um, what's it called with the torque app and I'm gonna have all my gauges and I don't know it's just a lot easier looking at that screen instead of looking all the way down to look at my gauges um, and like I said again it looks looks OEM doesn't look aftermarket I'm gonna turn on the AC because it's actually hot in here so the AC works everything works and, uh, you just push this button and then uh, you can just go back to where we were these are the Google Maps it's not showing anything because I, I don't have my phone with me, but I usually um, turn on my, my Wi-Fi and it connects to the internet. Yeah, that, that's how it looks right there. And then um, that's the Bluetooth. It's the music right there. And then um, these are all your apps. I haven't downloaded any apps yet. That's YouTube right there. Um, you got Google. So one thing that I do notice is that um, when you turn off the car or when you have the engine off, like for example, I'm going to turn off the engine. 
the screen turns off and then you can turn it back on with the power button so yeah you don't you can't really listen to music when the engine's on off um, you have to have the engine on and then the screen comes back on so I don't know if that's that's normal um, but I'm okay with it it doesn't bother me I, I never listen to the music while the engine's off so let me know what you guys think um, if you like it let me know let me know if it's worth it to you guys um, honestly to me it is uh, because like I said I can do a bunch of things with that touchscreen radio I thought the screen was gonna be a little larger at least like a 8 inch um, but again it is what it is um, I'm okay with that um, so anyways thank you guys for watching and you guys have an awesome day